Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Sunday now, September 2nd, and it's 3.30 p.m. Okay, I got through my comments. I replied to everybody. So I hope the replies will remain. Now, in one of the comments, I got another uh, prophetic dream from Fantasy Final. I have shared these before. And I always feel in my heart they are truly from the Lord. So I'm going to go ahead and share this one with you as well. All right. Let me pull this forward. And she says, Jeannie, please share this. She posted this five hours ago. YouTube won't allow me to upload any videos. And these are things that I can't keep to myself. On August 20th, okay, that would be like nearly two weeks ago, in a dream, I was shown a ball of fire striking the earth. It was completely round and had flames which extended the end like a tail. On August 29th, it was seen in Perth, Australia. The other night, I was given another dream. I saw myself walking towards a window, looking up where the sun would be. Where the sun would be, I saw a golden plaque in its place with symbols written upon it. I was unable to read it, not only because of the symbols, but also in how bright the gold really was. Yet somehow, I knew it was from the Lord. I really had an urgency to understand what it said. So I squinted my eyes to look past through the light but my body was immediately pulled into space. I saw the stars, then some planets. I saw the earth, then the sun, and the meteor behind it. It was different from the one shown to me on August 20th. It was not much bigger and not that far behind. Perhaps it will strike us, or perhaps not. Either way, let us be ready at all times. Okay. So it wasn't much bigger. Okay, now I was not familiar with the one. Okay, it was seen in Perth, Australia. I have to believe it did not actually strike us. If it was, but what you're saying is the dream you got on the 20th came to pass on the 29th. The Lord showed you another one coming. Okay. So folks, let's be in prayer about this. If you think about it, what, what do we want to pray I, when I pray about these things that people dream about or see in a vision is coming, I tend to pray, Lord, let your will be done. If this is your will, this is, if this is part of your judgment to wake people up, let it be so. And I pray, I, I hope that, you know, we'll be raptured out of here before total destruction on any area. But, but let your will be done. You see, I know the Bible says, just as in the days of Noah, there will be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. 
when the Son of Man returns, or however it's worded, that's talking about the first rapture. Life as usual. There will be two in a bed. One will be taken. One will be left. That means in some part of the world it's night. There will be two in the field working. One will be taken. One will be left. Or two women grinding at the mill. One will be taken. One will be left. So some part of the world it's daytime. In the nighttime. So we know wherever, whatever day, whatever hour, it's a different day or a different hour for a different time of the world. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Jesus made that clear right there when he spoke about two in the bed or two in the field. Okay. So I don't believe there's going to be major destruction where everybody is doing without, running for their life. But as we already know it, Things are happening already. There is a portion here and a portion there going through some stuff. And it's meant to wake us up. And for those people who are not yet awake, who are sitting comfortably in their homes, enjoying their big screen TVs and their good jobs, and their wonderful homes, or whatever God has blessed them with. They're Christians. They're born again. Nothing's happening to them. And oh, no man knows the day or the hour is going to happen. So we just have to live every day as if he could come. But really in their minds, they're seeing life down the road because they're enjoying it. They're planning for next year's vacation or even a five-year-from-now trip to Italy. You know what I'm saying? There's too many of them. They're asleep. They're not ready. So things, God is going to be doing things to wake them up. But that is during the seals. Seal 1, the Antichrist is revealed to the world. Seal 2 is war. Seal 3, I believe it's famine, pestilence. 4 is death. See, the ashen or green horse is death. So yeah, those things are going to cause death. That's where they are going to need to be ready to die at any minute. Prayed up. Staying close to the Lord in their word. Repenting. You know, getting rid of that once saved, always saved business. Oh, if people could just understand. It, it just makes me want to shake my head and just, whoa, Lord, what more can I do? What more can I do to wake these people up? I can't. I can't. If you share some videos that you think might help one person. But, you know, like I started off in the beginning sharing videos so much. I turned them all off. So, you know, it was it going to be that way anyhow? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. And then things didn't happen the way we thought. In 2013, I said, y'all need to stock up. The weekend of Thanksgiving is going to be awful. We're going to have three days of darkness. I mean, there were so many people getting this prophecy or thinking it was going to be that Thanksgiving. Thinking that Comet Ison was going to be a big deal. Did anybody remember that? I do. Several folks left YouTube because nothing happened. But I, I've hung in there. A lot of you have hung in there. We know things are going to happen. It just wasn't time for it. Anyway, I kind of got off track a little bit. 
sounds like another comet of some sort is coming meteor comet which is bigger comets I guess anyway they can do a lot of destruction so thank you fantasy final for sharing your dream with us and I pray that anyone who sees this video will just please be ready give your heart to the Lord if you haven't already on my home page there is a video on how to be saved if you're not already it's uh, under for new visitors to channel or something you can click on that and then that video opens up instead of the more the recent one that just got made which will be this one I wanted my intentions were to put every movie I or video that I made in iMovie and add that salvation video but then they started making it where nothing I made would upload and if it did upload it took so long it, it was I don't like leaving my computer open when I'm asleep I want to shut it down shut the Wi-Fi off you know that kind of thing well so I had to quit adding it and just make videos just upload them straight up with no bells and whistles and the salvation it video not added now do you think that was a coincidence or no that was on purpose whoever the powers that be or as some people put it the powers that should not be that's what we should call them the powers that should not be messing with the comments messing with videos messing with uploads and so on let's just keep pleading the blood of Jesus over everything and so we can stay in connection with each other and our videos will go up and our comments will stay there when we put them there and my replies will stay there I plead the blood of Jesus over them I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of you and the internet connection and over all of your little electronic devices whatever you use to connect with I plead the blood of Jesus over them and why is that so loud I don't know how to turn that thing off it drives me nuts they're almost all from clip converter I had to agree to that in order to use their free service to download a video to put it into iMovie add me and whatever all I do re-upload as a video anyway it will just have to put up with it so I pleaded the blood of Jesus and I will say goodbye for now. I will talk to you later.